I have a lot that I need to get off my chest. I have a lot to say. I have a lot that I need to say. And let me tell you something. This isn't the recap. This is the real me. And I got... I got some... I got some things that I need to say. First of all, I know that things haven't been going well for the Flyers right now. They have lost three games in a row. And I know it's tough, but let me tell you something. Last year, I didn't know who the hell I was. Last year, I had so much doubt in my heart. Last year, last year, I had to make some sacrifices. There were some friends that I never had a chance to say goodbye to. And it sucks. I had to sacrifice a lot of things in my life. There's a lot of things that I had to give up. And it, it I had to give up a whole lot. I gave up my ability to walk. I gave up my ability to be able to eat again. But you know, tell you the truth, I didn't give anything up. Those were choices I had no choice to make. What I'm saying is, last year, I was down and I was out. This year, I'm a completely different person. A different fan. After all the shit I've been through in my life. All the shit I've been through last year with flyers. All the changes I had to make in my life. You know, I learned something. Sometimes when you lose something in your life and you have to make sacrifices, it makes you a stronger person. And you know, through the years, I put up with a lot. I had to, I never got a chance to say goodbye to one of my good friends after she left social media. So, and it's been tough for me, and when that happened to me, I was down to the dumps. I didn't know what to do. But then I turned to the Flyers hockey. And I forgot all about that. You see, I've been a Flyers fan my whole life. And tell you the truth, it's been hard being a, being a Flyers fan sometimes. I remember years ago, when I had MySpace, and this New Jersey Devils fan, and this was the year the Flyers kept losing, it was 06 07. and this cocky New Jersey Devils fan, he would get on my case every single day of my life, and he would tease me. And he would make fun of me for being a Flyers fan. He would call me a loser. He would call me a cripple. And that made me feel helpless. Like I couldn't do anything. But one year, when the Flyers started playing well, he never showed his face on social media again. And that tells me something. He was just some troll. He was just some troll on the internet that wanted to get on my case. I wanted to be an asshole. And I've dealt with that my whole life. 
I had somebody on Instagram tell me, forget about the flyers, Coolio died. And you know something? I like Coolio. He was my favorite rapper. Gangster's Paradise was my favorite song. And when I grew up, when I heard that guy tell me that on Instagram, I realized that he was a real asshole. He didn't care about Coolio. He just wanted to say that so he could troll me. And to use somebody's death as a way to troll somebody on Instagram, that's just low. That's really low. I've been through a lot. Been through a lot. I've had people come up to me and tell me, man, the flyers suck. And that was hard for me. That was hard for me, but I lived with it and it made me stronger. You know, my life wasn't always easy. Nobody's life is easy. I've been through a lot in my life. Been through a lot, and been through a lot in my life. Had a lot of health issues. But you know what kept me? The Flyers hockey was the one thing that kept me going. Flyers hockey makes me feel alive again. And you think that I'm going to stop being a Flyers fan? When I became a fan, I made a commitment to my city. I made a commitment to my father up in heaven. I made a commitment to my city and to my people. Then I ain't gonna give up. I'm Timmy Flyers guy. And my name represents a lot. It represents honor. Discipline, determination, passion, and, to, and, the, and the will to succeed. I don't just call myself that name because it sounds, it sounds cool. I call myself that because I have pride in that logo, in that Flyers logo. I have pride in the logo. And let me tell you something, it ain't about the number, and it ain't about the name on the back. It's about that logo. And what that logo represents is tradition. What that logo represents is all the hardships I've been through in my life. And all the times i fought back. Yes, the Flyers are in a free game of victory. But do you think that I'm going to stay here? and cry and get upset i would like no i'm going to continue to be determined i'm going to continue to have the passion of every single philadelphia fire fan in this great city i go out there in that great city you know what i see i see blue collar hard working people with heart and determination. I don't do this just for me. I do this because I represent the underdog. I represent the kids who have been told you're not good enough. I do this for my city and I do this for my people. I love this city. I love my neighborhood. And I love everything about this great city. You can talk all the crap you want about my hockey team, but you will never 
Take away my pride. You will never take away my determination. You will never break me. Because I am unbreakable. Philly is unbreakable. And you will not take away our blue collar way of life. You will not take away our pride, our passion, our determination, and our heart. Because we love this great city. We love this great city. And I am proud to represent the Philadelphia Flyers. I am proud to represent all the underdogs. Believe me, I've been an underdog all my life. I've been the underdog all my life. I never was the prom king. I never was Mr. Popularity. I never was captain of the debate team. I never was part of the student council. Let me tell you something. I am proud of who I am. And I'll never change for anybody. I'll never change for anybody. If I give up all the doubters, all the naysayers, they win. And you know something? I'll be damned if I let them win. Because I represent orange. I represent black. And I represent this great city. And I, don't, I will never change that for anybody. Because I am me, I am Timmy Flyers guy, and I am proud to be an underdog.